You wanna play a little game? <laughs> What's going on everyone? My name is Triforce Addiction and welcome back to another COD Mobile Blueprint episode. So today we are going to be covering the newly released Chopper rules of the game. So yeah, we're starting off the Halloween theme very, very strong with the Saw themed Chopper rules of the game. So what's in this draw? Basically just the, the Saw character, well Jigsaw or I guess Billy. He is a part of a character. He's not actually a separate character skin. It's it's kind of weird. Like he's a, he's a skin for a certain character in this game. It, it, he's not an individual operator for some reason. So yeah, if you're looking for him in the character skin section, he's under Mor Morte for some reason. So a little heads up just in case you can't find him. So like I said, it's a Saw-based theme. We have seen this before in Modern Warfare for their Halloween uh, celebration last year. They had some pretty cool skins. I think it was a tracer around uh, Amax Confession. Um, it did make its return, so I will be making a video on that. But yeah, here we are with the Chopper rules of the game. And I do have to say, this one sticks strongly to the theme, and I really love it. Well, I didn't get my hands on those originally when they first came out because I kind of stopped playing that game after Season 3. Um, I did get to see some gameplay footage of it, and I honestly do have to say it was probably one of the better skins of those games. So enough talk about, you know, the Saw stuff. Let's actually discuss the weapon itself. So, like I said, it does stick to the theme pretty well, the way it looks. It pretty much has a rusted look overall, and that's kind of how the saw theme is if you have seen the movies you would see that this is a, this is a very good fit it also does have a dismembered foot on the side which is something i really do like because I, I don't know it's just it just goes so well with it I, I can't really explain it and also just in case you guys haven't noticed below the iron sight you could actually see the timer right there and it does move very reminiscent to the timers that you would see in the movies the iron sight also did have a change, that's why I decided to not use a crossbar in this particular gameplay, at least in the first clip. But yeah, that also there's something to keep in mind, if you do use the crossbar, it's a little bit obstructing. They did have a, a separate skin for that, um, I don't know if you noticed, but like if you do check the stock of the weapon, it is kind of like a chainsaw thing. But if you do manage to put this on, it'll change into a reaper sight, so that's pretty cool. But the one problem is that, you know, the hand's kind of in the way, so it could be a little bit obstructing. So that's something you probably have to keep in mind if you do want to use the crossbar. Also, let's talk about the death effect. So the death effect is probably the most gruesome out of all of them so far that we've seen in the game. Because basically when you kill the enemy, a saw basically just grinds them and, you know, it's just a whole puddle of blood. It's, it's amazing. It's really nice. Also, this weapon does have some different shooting sounds, uh, whether you have it suppressed or not. It pretty much has that chainsaw sound. I, I really do like that as well. Rules of the game also does have some different effects, something that you can't really see in first person. If you do go to the gunsmith, you'll see that there's blood dripping on the bottom of the gun, as well as some flies, you know, kind of like surrounding the weapon. So yeah, this is the chainsaw rules of the game for you. It's actually one of the first or one of the only legendaries that has any actual physical animations because of the saw on the back if you do not use the crossbar. So now let's move on to the attachments. It does have chopper infantry, sleight of hand, OWC laser tactical, 120 round reload, as well as stippled grip tape. But for the class up that I have for you guys, the attachments are chopper infantry, YKM light flash guard, disable, OWC laser tactical, as well as heavy handle. Also, just in case you guys were curious, this is how the blueprint looks like with all the completionist camos available. So gold looks pretty cool, platinum looks pretty cool, Damascus looks alright. But I would say obviously the best one is diamond. So if you guys haven't grinded for a diamond already and you want to unlock this skin, I recommend doing so now. So anyways, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.